Security. It's a promise made to every American, regardless of their faith, ethnicity, or background. Our Constitution guarantees us all the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we have laws in place to ensure that we are protected from anything that would threaten that. But there are individuals, organizations, and networks out there who are working to undermine the safety and security of the American Muslim community. They are well-funded, well-equipped, and hell-bent on making sure that Muslim life in America does not flourish. The Islamophobia Network, a well-funded web of organizations and individuals, works to promote discrimination, prejudice, and intolerance toward our community. Should America fear Islam, and why? Well, Islamic jihadis point free. They used to operate without much public scrutiny. They were able to pass themselves off as experts to local, state, and federal officials. And they were able to control narratives about Muslims both in the public sphere and in the media. That was until CARE began exposing them. Uh, we're here today to release our first annual uh, Islamophobia report. Uh, we'll first have... We began investigating the Islamophobia network more than a decade ago. We've been digging into their tax documents. We've been getting records requests on them and exposing their work for what it really is. Not only we are able to defend ourselves, but we are going on the offensive against those who target our communities. Last year, we issued Islamophobia in the Mainstream, a report that details how $106 million was funneled into 26 Islamophobia network groups over a period of three years. We also revealed how that money reached those groups through mainstream charities and donor-advised funds. In the time between the release of Islamophobia in the Mainstream and our previous report, Hijacked by Hate, the Islamophobia Network's funding has decreased. They no longer possess the political influence they once had, and they're no longer given the platforms by the mainstream media that they once enjoyed. But they're not gone. Islam is a political ideology. It is a political ideology. It's like cancer. These groups are still out there, and they're working around the clock to harm our community and you. Boston police are investigating a disturbing incident at a local mosque this weekend. This pig's head. In Washington, the Council on American Islamic Relations now calling for an investigation after police say someone... So mapping, studying, analyzing the threat is very important. It is scientific work, it is professional work, and the community needs to invest in this work. With your support, we can continue exposing the spreaders of hate, ensure security for American Muslims, and secure the benefits of faith and democracy for our community.